Alright, what's up guys? My name is Zach and we are back again working on the Blue RX-7. Now, just a quick reminder of what happened last episode. It runs now, it runs. That was our big hurdle of getting the engine actually to fire over. Now it's just gonna be kind of odds and ends. This is gonna be a really super ADHD all over the place video. We're gonna try to do some of the cooling system, get the old exhaust off. It's gonna be all over the map. So Alex is coming over. We might have a couple other people coming over to help. Um, and we're just gonna crank away at the car. Like I said, it's gonna be kind of all over the place, but progress will be made. So. Welcoming home, our 1931 Ford Model A is back in the building, holla. Um, but I do have to move it, because then we're gonna swing the RX-7 over to work on the RX-7. So I'm sorry. Um, I have tons of videos of this car on my channel too, if you're interested in the 31 Ford. Still the four cylinder from the 30s, it's pretty much all original besides an alternator, a windshield, and a couple other minor things. Um, but yeah, let's pull it out, and then we'll get this RX-7 moved over, um, and then we'll start working on it. Victory. I'm not as dumb as you guys think. I am dumb, but just We never not... said you were dumb. I could feel it. You're stupid but you I ain't dumb. <laughs>
You're never gonna make it in NASCAR. I don't know why they didn't accept my resume. <laughs> We're calling it a day there. So we got a lot accomplished. First of all, the biggest thing was getting the old exhaust off, which is fully removed. And I have, if anyone wants it and can pick it up in the Chicagoland area, you can have a full 12A 85 RX-7 exhaust as my dog is going crazy inside, I apologize. We got some coolant lines ran. We bled the brakes, which was huge. And we went to go bleed the clutch, but we need a new clutch master and clutch slave cylinder. They're just really gunked up and not worth putting on the car. So those will be ordered. Uh, tonight and I think that's it the interesting thing about the rear brakes is that there's actually not a bleeder for the rear drums on the driver's side the bleeder for the rear drum brakes is just on the passenger side which I found really interesting probably makes sense I assume because it's the driver's side in Japan for right hand drive cars but yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed I'm sorry this is sort of a little bit shorter of an episode I didn't film a whole lot today um, but we we're just kind of messing around a bunch of friends came over so it was really nice um but we got some things done on the car so the car is moving forward uh and getting closer and closer to drive every day i do have a deadline for the car of father's day because i am signed up to take the car to a father's day car show uh so the car has to get moving and driving before that oh and we mounted the header i totally forgot we mounted the header um i mounted the header so yeah Thank you so much to everyone that came over. Theo, Alex, Adam, and Eddie, um, all for helping out. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, progress is being made on the blue car, and I love it. So, catch you guys next time. Bye.